guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is the first video of mine that you've ever seen thank you so much for watching today I'm going to do my holy grail products video or products that I would repurchase um, I'm just doing this in place of like a favorites because I've been on YouTube for like two or three months now I think it was in September that I started and I've never done a monthly favorites because I'm a stay-at-home mom I've been staying at home since I was four months pregnant and my son just turned one in August so I don't really wear makeup that much and I would not just lie and make a video saying that this is my favorite product because I really don't try new products that often and if I do do my makeup I use I try to use different things so a few weeks ago I told you guys that um, I was going to film two videos in one day and I did film both the videos one was a um, really like minimal eye look with a bold lip and I was wearing the same shirt <laughs> and the other one was this video that I'm going to do now um, but when I filmed the video it was when it was starting to get really cool outside and it felt super super good so I had my window open but unfortunately the um, interstate is like 30 yards from my window so you could hear like all this traffic going by and it was like horrible so I decided that I would go ahead and refilm it so I know it's been a little while and I have a totally different makeup look on but um, I guess it's kind of a good thing because I found a few more things that I could add in like once I started thinking about it so with that being said I'm going to um, have a few things that are beauty related but not exactly makeup and then I have a few different makeup things my favorite bronzer my favorite blush favorite highlight eyeshadow some lip products just things that I would repurchase and that I love so let's go ahead and get started the first products that I'm going to show you are my um, favorite perfumes I have the Viva La Juicy by Juicy Couture which I'm sure you saw it before it's super popular look I'm like out so um, this one is going to be for girls who like the more sweet like vanilla scent so I wanted to do two just in case um, you don't like like a more fresh clean scent um, this one is Escada into the blue I'm not really sure if you can buy this at like Macy's Dillard's it's kind of hard to find um, it might even be like a discontinued scent but it's super fresh like laundry but it's also really heavy so I just wanted to give you guys two little options but these are two that I could not do without I love them and I did touch on this a little bit in um, one of my last tutorials, I think it was my foundation routine. Um, after I had my son, like weird things started happening and I kept getting a rash on my neck and my right wrist, or my left wrist, probably. I don't know if you can see that. But um, I could not figure out what it was. And then I realized since I'm right handed, I spray my neck and my left wrist when I apply perfume. So apparently I'm allergic to perfume, so I just spray these on my hair and then like on my shirt just to avoid like a rash because I don't know how to get rid of it. Like I said in my last video, if you have these problems or you know of someone who has and was able to get rid of them, please let me know because I absolutely love perfume and it still smells good on my hair and my shirt, but I really like to spray on my skin without like having some kind of reaction. So, um, Viva La Juicy and Escada Into The Blue. Next, I'm going to show two nail products that I absolutely love. I use them anytime I do my nails. And the first one is the Onyx Professional 100% Acetone Glitter and Polish Remover. Sorry, my son's walking around. So what I have here is the Onyx Professional 100% Acetone Glitter and Nail Polish Remover. Um, it also says that it removes artificial nails, but I don't get my nails done because I'd rather buy more makeup, duh. I know they make one that has a sponge inside, but this one has hard plastic bristles. Bristles. and it's got bristles on the inside so it makes taking off nail polish so much easier especially glitter nail polish because you know that's a pain in the butt to get off so you just stick your hand outside that little hole oh it's okay we needed a new comforter anyway so you're going to stick one of your fingers down in there and I just let mine soak for a second and then I just wipe it off and the bristles take it off like super quickly. So I really love this product. I get this at Walmart in the nail section. Next is a um, top coat which um, is by Seche Beat. It's a fast dry top coat and I absolutely love this nail polish. It makes your nails super shiny and um, it does help them draw a lot more quickly. They do make a base coat and they put it right next to each other 
right next to each other. So make sure that you read which one you're buying because I, ha I have come home with the base coat instead of the top coat. I did just use it as a base coat and I had to go back to buy the top coat, which is what I went for. So I buy this at Sally's. I think I've seen this brand also, but I'm not for sure. I have one hair product because I'm not super big into hair. And this is the Moroccan oil, Moroccan oil treatment. The bottle itself is pretty large. You get a lot of product, but it is kind of pricey. It's like $45 a bottle. They do make one that's smaller. Um, this is the original formula, but they do make a lighter formula. So if your hair is more fine, which obviously my hair is like super thick and kind of coarse, then um, you'll definitely want to try the lighter formula, but this is just the original. I've had this for probably six months and I still have half of a bottle left. Um, if you live in my hometown of sweet old Oxford, Alabama, um, you can find this at the Regis Salon, the one that's by GameStop. You can find this at that salon, but um, if not, of course, you can always order it offline. So one thing about this is it comes with a pump, but it does come with the screw on top. I always put the pump on, but the pump lets out a lot, a lot of product. So I always um, squirt several pumps into one of those three ounce travel bottles that you can buy at Walmart and Target in the little um, travel section and just um, squeeze out what I need on my hand because it's so hard to get out like half a pump. It's kind of like using that pro long where you know where you got like way too much no matter how hard you try. So I always put mine in the little disposable bottle but I love this stuff. It smells so good and it makes my hair feel so smooth. And I will continue to repurchase this product probably until I die because I really like it. So next I'm going to show you uh, my favorite makeup remover. Um, this is the Mary Kay oil free eye makeup remover and as you can see it separates I believe it's silicone based but it is like a miracle worker for taking off your eye makeup your eye is like the first area to age on your face and if you tug on a lot when you remove your makeup you're already kind of wearing down the elasticity so um, it's always good to have a really good eye makeup remover and I love this one I think it's like $15 a bottle you can find a local um, Mary Kay Beauty Consultant or you can order it offline um, but I also tried the Maybelline Clean Express makeup remover and it is also the waterproof formula that Norvina recommended she said that it got off flash glue really well um, it actually didn't work as well to me as the Mary Kay so although this is a drugstore product and it's just available to for you to run out and go buy at Walgreens or Walmart Target anywhere like that um, I definitely like this one better so I'm not sure the difference in the ingredients I could take time to read it but I'm no we don't do that I'm sure you don't care because you just want something that's going to take your makeup off but I highly recommend this one and it is definitely a holy grail product for me so I repurchase this anytime I run out because it's just the best that I've tried so this is the Mary Kay oil free eye makeup remover so next I'm going to show something pretty random like all these things basically but these are my tweezers and these are the little mini tweezermans I chose the one that were purple with white polka dots just because I really like them um, these tweezers are awesome I think they're like 14 or 15 dollars a pair which I don't know how much tweezers are supposed to cost but they're definitely worth the money sometimes some of the hairs just are like unpluckable that's what I call them my unpluckable hairs uh, sometimes they're not easy to pluck but these ones do like a really good job and I really like them also for applying my falsies I don't know what it is about them because I have another pair that I keep in my purse just like a backup pair of tweezers I don't know why but um, these ones work so much better than those so I really love these tweezers and I know you can find these at Ulta and I think even Sally's I might have gotten these from Sally's the next two products that I have are ones that I use in every tutorial I've been using both of these for years and I'm pretty sure that I will continue to reach purchase them because I just haven't found anything that's as good for the price so I love these two and if you've seen my tutorials I know you're probably tired of seeing these but they're my absolute favorite so the next product I'm going to show is this wet and wild ticket to Brazil bronzer um, this is of course is a drugstore bronzer and I absolutely love this I know it can be used on a wide variety of skin tones and it's like six or seven dollars it's super affordable and it gives your skin such a pretty glow absolutely love it I just used it recently in one of my contouring videos so I'll link that down below if that's something you're interested in seeing okay so the next product that I'm going to show in my holy grail item slash things I would repurchase is this Milani baked blush in this shade Berry Amour. I love this formulation and I use these blushes all the time. Um, this is a really pretty like basic pink color. Actually I'm wearing it right now 
I carry this in my freelance kit and this is even the second one that I bought just because I love it so much and I use it so often. It's a beautiful everyday color. So definitely if you're looking for a good drugstore blush, I highly recommend Milani, but I absolutely love this color. So this is the Milani Berry Armour Blush. Product that I'm going to show is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Champagne Pop. This was Jaclyn Hill's collaboration with Becca Cosmetics and it is limited edition, but I'm telling you this is my all-time favorite highlighter. I did not buy two of these, but um, if I ever do hit pan on this, I'm going to thank the people that get on eBay and like double the price of these because I will definitely buy one. This is the like most beautiful highlighter that I've ever seen. It's a really pretty peachy gold color and I have done a review and comparison to the Champagne Pop compared to Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood Highlight. But this one is just so pretty. The longevity of it, the way it wears, the glow it gives you is just beautiful. It's my absolute favorite. And um, I will definitely be buying this product no matter how much it costs. So um, this is the Becca Champagne Pop Highlight. So now I am going to show you guys my Holy Grail lip products. And the first one that I have is a ColourPop lippy pencil in the shade Bound. I absolutely love this color and I swatched it on the back of my hand so you can see it. It's a really pretty pink like mauve color with a little tiny bit of brown and I actually have the Urban Decay Liar pencil also because it's a super similar color and these are my absolute favorite. You can pair them with so many different looks. They're actually kind of dupes for each other but the Liar pencil is just a little bit more brown. So I really, really love these colors. Um, ColourPop Bound is on top and the Urban Decay Liar Pencil is on the bottom. I believe the Urban Decay Pencil retails for $18 a piece. Don't quote me on that, which I will put it down below. But um, the ColourPop Pencil is only $5. I will definitely repurchase both of these when I sharpen them down to sweet, sweet nothing um, because I love them so much. You can pair them with so many different color looks even if they're not the exact same color. So I absolutely love these two products the next um product that i have is a lipstick and it's also by ColourPop. it's in the shade lumiere and this is a beautiful everyday color i was going to put in the shade faux from mac which is probably just a little bit more muted than this made with a little bit more brown which can you tell that i love these shades but um this color is like perfect for every day you can wear it with a super dramatic eye or with hardly anything maybe just even mascara I absolutely love this color and it looks good on so many different skin tones so I had to incorporate it in my video, duh, because I'll definitely repurchase this when I run out. I've never actually finished an entire lipstick, lip gloss, or anything, but I have a feeling that I definitely want this one because I love this shade. The next products I'm going to talk about are liquid lipsticks and one of them is also from ColourPop. I'm like a ColourPop junkie. I have so many different products from ColourPop, but this is in the shade Solo and it's one of their um, ultra matte lippies, so I will also swatch that one on my hand. Um, it looks a lot more warm in the tube than it is. This is such a beautiful everyday shade and of course all of these are like the same colors because this is the color that I gravitate toward. It's like a like a pinky mauve with a little bit of brown. That's just my everyday color. So all of these are the same shade. <laughs> so this one is a little bit brighter than the others. Um, this is the shade Solo. S-O-L-O-W. I don't know how they come up with the names that they do, but I really, really love this shade and it draws a little bit cooler tone than this and a little bit darker. It's not this bright pink. Um, it might not have been showing up the right color on the camera, I can't tell. But um, I really, really love this color for every day. Hey, that's my beauty blender. The next lip product that I'm going to talk about is the shade Lolita from Kat Von D. This is my absolute favorite liquid lipstick formulation. I love these. They feel so good on your lips. Almost like they're almost not even drying. Just a tiny, tiny bit drying, but I love them so much. The ColourPop liquid lipstick retail for $6 a piece. This one is $20. It's a higher end lipstick, but I really, really love the shade so pretty i wanted to put in like a more summery color and then a more fall appropriate one i do have a tutorial using this color if you guys are interested in seeing what it looks like on my skin tone so i will also link that down below but um i really love this shade and they're super comfortable to wear on the lips and it's a beautiful everyday color just like all the ones that i have shown so um i'm going to show you guys my last lip product and it is a gloss it is the nyx intense butter gloss in the shade tres leches um, I really, really love this shade, and I'm not sure if this um, Intense Butter Gloss is like permanent in their line, but I hope I, I hope it is, and if it's not, I hope I can find it when I run out of this, because I use it all the time. 
So this is Tres Leches and as you can see it's basically the same color as all the other ones because I love this shade. But these form these are like five dollars a piece and they are so pigmented. They're probably comparable to the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip um, glosses which are supposed to be amazing. I don't own any but just from videos that I've seen like the texture is probably just a little bit less sticky than those but they're so glossy and so pretty and they wear really well. Next products that I'm going to talk about are eyeshadows. Um, the first one is another ColourPop product. I told you guys I'm a ColourPop junkie. If you follow me on Instagram you know that I'm always buying stuff from there which I think I have about everything that I could possibly want from there but they keep coming out with new stuff which is not something I'm going to complain about so anyway this is a shade lovely this is an absolutely beautiful gold color and it has like pink and gold flecks in it of glitter and it is so pretty you could probably use it as a highlight too but this is such a pretty color for the lid especially that's how I always use it I try not to use it every day because seriously that's how much I love this color but and it would look so good with anything that you put on so um I will definitely repurchase this when I run out of it which is going to be in the near future because it's definitely one of my most used shadows the next shadow that I have is from my Z palette and it is this large light tan shade at the bottom this is actually an elf press powder and it's in the shade light beige um, I will list for sure like the absolute name of what it is um, in the description box just because I can't ever think of it off the top of my head but um, I really really love this shade as my transition of course if your skin is lighter or darker than mine then you could find a shade that complements your skin um, so that you could also use this as your transition but comparing it to another eyeshadow size look at the size difference and this is only like three dollars at Target um, it's elf so this one is an Anastasia shadow and they retail for $12 a piece I believe so you can see how much you get um, for the price. This is the e.l.f. press powder in the shade light beige. So last but certainly not least is my beauty blender and it's a little bit dirty I need to clean it um, but I absolutely love 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 this beauty blender. I wasn't going to put any brushes in this video but I guess technically this is not a brush because it's a sponge but I really really love my beauty blender. I cannot live without it. These retail for $20 a piece but Real Techniques does make an orange sponge and those are really good sponges too. I always use it to blend out my concealer and to go back over my foundation and make sure that everything is blended. My son actually just hasn't had this in his mouth so I'll definitely be washing it soon. I've never used anything else to blend out my concealer. Um, I might be trying the Morphe G2 because everyone is talking about that, saying it's like the most awesome brush, but I have a feeling it's gonna be hard for me to replace my beauty blender. So um, if I do end up liking that brush, I'll let you guys know because this is like my baby. Like everyone needs a beauty blender, even if it is the Real Techniques one because that one works just as well. So I really love these. They have a few different colors and they even have a cute little like beauty blender um, bling stand which I will, I need to order that because I think that would, I think that would be a nice addition to my vanity. But I really love my Beauty Blender and it just makes your makeup apply so smoothly that I know I could not live without it. So this definitely had to make it into my video. But now that I've gone over everything that I had laid out, this is the end of my video. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And um, if you want to see videos like this, I will try my hardest to find more of my favorites, but I want them to be my honest favorites that I actually use all the time. So I will do my best with that for monthly favorites. But if you guys have any requests of makeup looks, just let me know in the comments down below. And I would love to talk to you guys. I'd love to know who my subscribers are. So um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Anyway. Bye.